This is Luis Sandoval, FightHype.com, here with Mikey Perez. We've got a big fight coming up, man. I know they changed your opponent, man. I mean, uh, are you disappointed? How are you feeling about that change, man, that close to the fight? Um, at first, I was a little disappointed. Um, I thought the opportunity was going to, you know what I mean, just think of, it was going to take away my opportunity uh, for a title eliminator and, um, and the fight for the NBO. But, um, you know, we, 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 gotta, we went through like five, five different opponents to try to um, fill in uh, Sharif Bogir. And um, finally, we got an opponent from uh, Cancun, Luis Sanchez. And, I um, mean, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy. I mean, um, Cramp went well. Uh, sparring Mikey Garcia, sparring um, Hector Tanahara, and sparring um, Saul Rodriguez. So it's, it's been perfect, man. I feel good. I feel strong. Um, I just can't wait to Saturday, July 11th. You trying to put on a statement out there, Mikey? What how, what are you trying to gain from this fight, man? Is it getting in place for a title? Is it reminding everybody you're back? I mean, what, what what are you trying to prove on the 11th? Oh, man, I'm trying to just prove to the world that Mikey Perez got what it takes to become world champion, and I am going to become world champion. Um, you know, uh, it's, a, it's my HBO debut, so um, it's, it's real big, and it's a title eliminator. So um, at the end of the day, you know, I just got to go out there, do what I do, just um, perform. And um, come out with the W. How, what do you think about your division right now, lightweight division? What do you think about it right now, man? Are you, are you seeing any names there? Are you seeing any action? How's it looking to you right now? Um, it's looking like I could take over. Uh, you know, um, that that's the plan. And we, that's what we're working hard for. Um, just take over uh, the lightweight division. You know, um, I'm going back down. I haven't fought in, at, at lightweight in about four fights. Um, but um, you know, this opportunity came. And um, I took advantage of it, you know. I'm going back down, and um, um, man, whoever, man, Lenares, who, a any of the top top guys, you know, it's just um, I'm ready. I'm ready for whoever. I'm ready to take that step. Um, you know, um, I'm growing day by day with Robert Garcia. You know, um, it's it's been a, a huge change, and, and and I'm glad for everything that's going on right now. You know, speaking of Lenares, what do you think of his last performance, man? And how do you see a fight with you and him playing out if you get that opportunity? Uh, um, I think I'll beat Lenardis, you know, um, he's, he's a great fighter, I ain't taking nothing away from him, but, um, um, you know, I believe in myself, I believe that where, where I'm going and, and, and where I need to be, and if I have to be him, then that, that's who I have to be, Lenardis have to go down, but, um, oh man, he's, he's a sharp guy, um, real fast, fast hands, um, real sharp dude, you know, um, he, he, he's not nobody you could take lightly, of course, you know, um, but, uh, you know, any of the top guys, man, I'm ready for you guys. Ready. How does it feel being in there with Mikey Garcia, man? One of the, you know, top fighters. I mean, you know, he's not fighting now, but on the top, how much does that help you? And, and do you, and do you, when you're in there with a guy like him, do you go, you know, full speed or do you hold back a little bit? How, how are those sparring sessions? Nah, you go full speed, you know. Um, you learn, man. It's just, it's, it's all about learning, you know. Um, when I'm here, when I'm getting ready for a fight, and especially with guys like, like Mikey Garcia that got a lot of experience and he's world champ, you know. Um, um, and been in, been in there and, and done done what I want to do, you know, where, where I want to be. Um, you know, just learn off of li just little things. Um, I watch him, eat, even during sparring, little, little movements that he makes, and, and I, I pick up on, on, on a lot of stuff, you know, so it's, it's just a learning experience. And, you know, you, you say you came back down to 135, but it, do you eventually think you're going to make your home at 140? Do you feel a little better there? I mean, there's a lot of names there, too. I mean, is that something you're looking at as well? Oh, yeah, most definitely, you know. Um, we're gonna take it one one step at a time, you know. Um, the opportunity at 135 uh, have, have came, so now we are, are it's our time to take take over the, the 135 division. Um, I'm an in betweener, so I've, I'm not I'm not a full 140 pounder. I'm still smaller smaller than most 40 pounders, but I, I'm 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 a little bigger than than, than most 35 pounders. So I'm an in betweener, and um, you know I'm just I'm gonna take advantage of the 135 pound division. And then ho hopefully in the future um, we, we can move back up to 140 and take over that division too. And for all the fans, man, what are they going to see if they go see you July 11th, man? What are they going to see in the ring from Mikey Perez? Man, um, I ain't, I can't really uh, celebrate July 4th, so j <laughs> j July 11th I I'm going to celebrate. It's going to be a lot of fireworks July 11th. So that's, that's what you guys can expect, a lot of fireworks. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you.